Hi everyone, I'm Talia. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more like it. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll get the newest and greatest news over at Brightly Imagined. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do uh, the layout a little differently for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the finished product first and then we'll jump into the time lapse if you want to see how it's done. Okay, so for November I wanted to go with kind of a pine cone theme and I put a little candle there just because um, I like the idea of it being like a centerpiece under the November. It ended up looking a little more Christmassy than I was intending, probably because I put this washi tape on the side. It looked a little more burgundy until I started using my more burgundy colors and I was like, eh, it looks a little red. so. Hence, it looks a little Christmassy. So, my apologies for that. I was just going for a pinecone theme, as we will see throughout here, but I'm fine with it. Okay, so this is my November habit tracker. Got the dates, and I have the little pine cones in the corner. Very simple layout, and I'll be filling it in with the habits later. On the opposing side, I did my NaNoWriMo 2018 tracker. So, these are the days, and I'm going to have a little bar growing as I get closer and closer to 50K. Hopefully, I get there um, this year. If I do not, then I do not. We shall see. But um, that is my objective for this month. And then over here I have my expense tracker. Holiday shopping is coming up and I'm going to need to keep track of a lot. So I got my two pages and plenty of space to track all the expenses. Okay, on this page is uh, my mood and focus mandala because why do one mandala when you can do two? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of compare these two mandalas. Um, the mood one, I'm going to have my moods, you know, happy, productive, frustrated, stressed, sad, tired, whatever my moods are over here. And then for focus, I'm going to put what I was focusing on that day as far as like life categories. Um, was I working a lot on the house? Was I spending a lot of time with family? You know, writing, the channel, what was my focus for the day? And I'm going to see if there's any correlation between what I'm spending most of my time on and what my mood is. So that was kind of my thought for doing two mandalas this month. And then the last page is just going to be one page of gratitude. Um, I I liked the last one with the line a day, but I kind of thought I could just do that some journaling on the daily pages. I always do that. I try out the gratitude and I'm like, oh, maybe if I had more space, but I kind of end up doing it on my daily anyway, but I still want to make sure I'm focusing on it every evening. So that's what this is for is uh, just being grateful and I can just use one word to say what I'm most grateful for that day. And that's it. I need to add some more pages here for my dailies for the month. So I'll be putting in the standard rainbow um, ones that look like this. So I'll get a few more of these and put them in the back. And then my November is all set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the time lapse now.
thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all soon. Goodbye!